I'm joined today here on Primetime Local News with Chris Jabkoru. He's from the Saskatchewan Realtors Association. Now, Chris, we're going to be going through some of the market numbers we're seeing here in Saskatchewan so far in 2021. As we head into March, what have we seen so far for uh, February and January? Yeah, in February, um, the province was up 2.6% um, in terms of prices. So we went from $265,000 to $272,000. Um, our sales up actually 74.5% over last year, so from 663 to 1157. Um, new listings were down a little bit, um, 1775 to 1773, so really not down significantly, um, kind of not really even worth mentioning in a sense, but it is important to note that listings are slightly down just to kind of talk about what's happening with inventory levels and kind of speaking about what's happening with respect to, um, you know, kind of the tightening of supply. Um, inventory was actually down 58.7% um, over the um, over February, so I'm down 12.8 months to 5.3 months. And inventory is just the kind of an idea of how long it would take for houses to um, all the houses on the market to sell um, if no new listings were added. In February 2020, there was a lot of uncertainty, but what are some other reasons why uh, the market has improved uh, so much this year compared to last? Uh, I think part of the reason why the market has improved so much um, is that people do kind of have this fear of missing out. You know, they have seen um, prices rise consistently since um, about June or July of last year. You know, there has been obviously some some variability from month to month, but overall prices have been going up since that time. And we have been seeing inventory levels decreasing continuously, which is kind of suggesting that, again, we are seeing less supply on the market. So there's less houses available for people to end up buying. Um, people, again, might kind of feel that need to, you know, I want to buy something right now. Um, there's a lot less out there. I need to get into it now. And obviously sales are going up, but prices are also going up? Absolutely. And then is there a fear that uh, uh, with all these sales kind of going up that uh, there's going to be a problem with uh, not enough supply? Uh, that definitely could be an issue going forward. You know, if people aren't putting houses on the market, um, you know, obviously there, there is going to be that really constrained supply. Um, but what generally happens or what we would hope to have happen is that as prices keep going up, potential sellers will realize that, you know, prices are going up. This is a good time to actually sell my house if I'm, you know, thinking about selling because I can, can get a reasonably good price at this point in time. Now, we've been talking about numbers for across the sketch. Right now, I know it's difficult to kind of get into uh, the specifics here in Lloydminster being a border city, but can you kind of take me through uh, what the market's been like in North Battleford? Yeah, so in North Battleford, um, we've seen sales go up 110% over last year. So we went from 10 last February to 21 um, this February. Uh, prices have gone up 26%, $127,000 to $160,000. Um, new listings down again, again, kind of suggesting that we are seeing that tightening of supply. Um, inventory levels down considerably as well, 75.9%, going from 19.6 months to 4.7 months. And we've seen sales increase 159%, going from 27 to 70. And uh, can you kind of take me through a little bit of the precautions uh, related to COVID-19 that realtors in Saskatchewan are putting into place? Yes, absolutely. So the Saskatchewan Realtors Association has, um, you know, definitely complied with what the um, the health regulations are. So realtors are required to wear masks while showing properties, while meeting with clients. And we've limited um, the number of people that can be in a house um, when it's being shown. You know, and a lot of the a lot of the precautions that um, we've put into place, we actually put into place before the government required that because we do want to again make sure that the um, the industry does remain safe and that it is safe to um, you know, transact in real estate. And is there anything else that you want to add that you feel is important? I think one of the important things to, to note about real estate is that, you know, for every house that's sold on average, about $53,000 in extra spinoff activities generated, a lot of that's coming from renovations and, um, you know, buying new furniture. So, you know, even though we aren't necessarily seeing, um, you know, a lot of houses being sold in certain instances, there is a lot of knock-on potential if those houses do sell. All right, well, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to me today, Chris.